Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I have a big haul for you from two stores, tons of new food finds, tons of amazing deals. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, your bell notification is turned on because we do a grocery haul together every Saturday and I actually upload five times every single week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is how I have lost and maintained my 140 pound weight loss as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let me flip you around and let's jump into this week's grocery haul. So here's my grocery haul for the week. This week I shopped at Sprouts and Walmart. I have so many new food finds and some killer, killer deals. We know how expensive groceries are so anytime I can get a good deal, I'm here for it. So let me show you what I picked up for a healthy week. Let's go ahead and start with Sprouts. So I always go to Sprouts for my produce, but I always stop by their meat section and they've been having a lot of reduced meat. That's a fantastic price. So I picked up a few things. First is this 100% grass-fed Angus beef pot roast. This is normally $26 and I got it for $16. Whenever I buy reduced meat, I either cook it right away or put it in the freezer. And you know how much we love a good pot roast in the crock pot. And this is 100% grass-fed. So really, really, really good deal. And then I found these pasture, pasture bird, pasture raised chicken tenders. These are really good. I got these before and they're a really good quality chicken. And these are normally $5.67 and I got them for $3.69. And then we do want to grill this weekend, get a bunch of protein. We like to grill vegetables, have all that on the, our Blackstone grill. So we have veggies and protein for the week. So I did go ahead and grab these for me. These are the 93.7 ground beef burgers. Normally, $8.49 for $5.52. They're ready to go. That is my favorite type of burger. Also, I saw these over in the egg section. I was going to order from the woman we order from locally in our community that has chickens, but I think I'm going to go ahead and use these at first. Then I'll place an order with her because these are the Farmer's Hen House Free Range Organic Eggs. Normally $6. I got them for $3. So that way we have some nice high quality eggs for the week. I also needed edamame for a recipe. I always buy frozen because if I don't use it, then I can put it back in the freezer and I always buy shelled. It's just so much easier. And then this is new to me. I thought these sounded interesting and they're probably for kids because it says mini Midi Kids School Friendly Refrigerated Snacks made with whole food ingredients, vegan, nut and gluten free. They had a few different kinds. I got the blueberry muffin. They're only 90 calories a piece and they have three grams of protein, 10 grams of carbs, and five grams of fat. It's a woman owned small business. I thought I'd try these. This would be a really good thing to take with me when I'm hiking. Now they do have to be refrigerated, so I would just pull one out before I walk out the door. But I also thought that this would be a good snack or a great addition to a little snack plate. I also got the Revol Organic Caesar Salad Kit. This one is really good. It actually has green leaf lettuce, romaine, and arugula and then all of the shredded sharp Parmesan cheese and crispy garlic croutons and then the dressing. I just like the arugula added to that. I really like that. So I picked that up. I got some more dried mango. I just like to have these for snacks and I actually have been hiking a lot as you know and these come in really handy. It's a good carbohydrate. Also I like to have these pre-workout. And then this is another new to me food find. This is the outstanding cheese balls. So these are five grams of protein, 20 vitamins and minerals cheddar flavored and it says you are what you eat be outstanding non-gmo and gluten free so there is 170 calories in the bag but there's a lot in here so I could see myself maybe having just half the bag I thought I would try them I'm always up for trying new protein snacks I also picked up a couple of avocados because when Amy was here we went for breakfast after one of our hikes at this coffee shop that I love. I love their coffee and I had never eaten breakfast there and I literally had the best avocado toast I've ever had in my life. So I wanna recreate that. So I plan on doing that in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day, so stay tuned. So I needed avocado for that. 
also radicchio. You could do radishes or radicchio. The one I had had actual radicchio, so I grabbed that, and then it wanted microgreens. So I said, like I said, I love arugula because it gives it a little of a peppery flavor, so I picked that up. All of this is for the avocado toast, plus you add an egg and one more ingredient that's really interesting, but seriously made the avocado toast. I'll show that to you. It's actually part of my Walmart haul. And then I also got some cantaloupe for Troy. It was reduced from $5.99 to $3. He loves cantaloupe. And then I'm going to have cottage cheese today and I thought pineapple chunks would be nice addition. These are normally $3.99 and I got them for $2. So some really great deals at Sprouts and some new food finds. Now moving over to Walmart, I did get a case of Gatorade Zero for Troy. It's already out in the garage. So I saw these and you know how how much I love my real good chicken nuggets and these were only five dollars for four sandwiches that's a little over a dollar a piece seven net carbs which I don't count net carbs but they do have 14 grams of protein these are the bacon egg and cheddar cheese breakfast sandwiches these were in the frozen section 260 calories and again 14 grams of protein 11 carbohydrates total which is not bad and then 19 grams of fat I wanna try these. I thought a quick, easy, simple breakfast. And then I also saw these right next to the Real Good Sandwiches. I normally buy these at Sam's Club. I have not made a Sam's Club run in a hot minute and I wanted these back in my life, so I grabbed them. These are $5.97 at Walmart for 12. And I think the ones at Sam's Club are only $10 and it's probably twice the amount but I grabbed them. I really like these. They have 15 grams of protein and 210 calories. These taste like the pancakes we had as kids. They're that good. I love them. And again, quick, easy, simple breakfast. Speaking of breakfast, I also did a restock of my chicken maple sausage patties. I love these. Love, love, love these. You know I love to make breakfast sandwiches with these. I also thought they would be a nice addition with the pancakes. That'll just add more protein. And Walmart is the only place I can find them in my area. So I picked up another bag. Troy asked for some lunch meat for sandwiches. So I got him some uncured honey ham. And then I also got him some roast beef from the deli. That way he can mix and match his meat. And also over in the meat section, I needed chicken for a recipe. $9.89 for no antibiotic ever chicken tender so that's going to be perfect for my lunch meal prep a few not a few non-food things i did get a restock of troy's deodorant i grabbed some vinyl gloves these we use these when we clean and these are also amazing to self-tan instead of buying tanning mitts use gloves your tan comes out perfect every time and then they had these little scunchy brand upcycled material scrunchies on clearance for three bucks no less than three dollars 280 so i grabbed them i am in need of some fresh scrunchies for working out and then i picked this up in the reduced bakery section for troy and i for the week this is a strawberry cake it looked really good five dollars and thirty cents of course the typical two gallons of one percent milk for him for the week and then i did a restock on my fair life because i'm almost out so for the avocado toast this is the other ingredient and i know it sounds weird but let me tell you it is the perfect salty from the butter, savory from the avocado and the microgreens and the radicchio, and then you top it with mandarin oranges. It was so good. So I'm, like I said, I'm recreating it this next week. I did pick up the no sugar added mandarin oranges. And then some part skim ricotta cheese because I have lasagna on the menu. I was looking for a really good bread for the avocado toast and I should have got it at Sprouts, but I was trying to save money and I went to Walmart and Walmart didn't have anything. So what I ended up getting is this garlic herb topped Italian bread. I wanted the larger slices, kind of the oval shaped slices. That's what they had at the restaurant. Should have got them at Sprouts, lesson learned. But I'm going to use this. I'll just slice this kind of diagonal so that I can get a nice crispy toast bottom for my avocado toast. I also needed a little bit of cheese, some shredded mozzarella for the lasagna, and then some light or some reduced fat pepper jack cheese. This is my favorite cheese ever. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So I did a restock of that. I also got one more Caesar salad kit just in case Troy didn't want the greens that were in the Revol, I got just the Walmart brand Caesar salad kit. This one's actually really, really good. And again, your salads, your croutons, your cheese, and your dressing. And I love to top this with my real good chicken nuggets. I also got some coconut oil. I've been trying to use really good oils and I'm making a healthy treat for boot camp this week and it called for coconut oil. And then that way I just have it on hand as well. I would recommend always getting organic and unrefined if possible. And this was a really good price at Walmart. And then I got some Bob Evans mashed potatoes. I've been craving mashed potatoes and I have that sirloin steak from Costco that I really like. And I thought it would be really good paired with mashed potatoes. 
And then just a couple of produce, produce items. I grabbed a couple bananas. I've been on a big banana kick lately, so I got a few bananas. And then I couldn't pass up these sliced mushrooms for 81 cents. I think we're going to grill these when we grill our veggies and meat for the week. So that is my big grocery haul from Walmart and Sprouts. Some really good deals, lots of new food finds. Let's jump in to my menu for the week and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for the week. We are going to have a lasagna night. I want to try out the Fiber Gourmet lasagna noodles. They're new to the line. Stay tuned. You'll see that recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. I'm also going to make the scallop potatoes with ham. I didn't end up making those last week, so they're back on the menu. And then since I bought those salad kits, we're going to have a salad night. And then here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. I'm super excited for these recipes. For breakfast, I'm making an apple oatmeal bar. For lunch, we're going to do chicken teriyaki bento boxes. Lots of protein in this, so I'm excited for that. And then I'm going to be making date bars. I've been craving dates, so I'm going to make a really good healthy date bar. So again, stay tuned for all three recipes in Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up for a healthy on track week from both Sprouts and Walmart. Let me know down below what are you picking up for the week, what's on your menu, and if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss any future videos. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, and I will see you in tomorrow's video.